Hi, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be going over problem 3 from week 7 of the Invariance Michaelmas Term Puzzle Competition. As always, I'll leave a link in the description below with details of the competition. Anyway, this is the problem I have today. So given a natural number n, which is odd, we write in increasing order the list of distinct remainders of powers of 2 mod n. Okay, so we're given a natural number n, which is odd, and then we write this list of numbers, which is uh, sort of in order, the distinct remainders of the powers of 2 mod n. So, for example, if n equals 9, then we have 2 to the 0, which is 1, which is, of course, congruent to 1 mod 9. 2 to the 1 is 2, which is, of course, congruent to 2 mod 9. 2 squared is, congruent, is equal to 4, which is congruent to 4 mod 9. 2 cubed is 8, which is congruent to 8 mod 9. 2 to the 4 is 16, but that's congruent to 7 mod 9. And 2 to the 5 is 32, which is congruent to 5 mod 9. Then if we do 2 to the 6, that's 64, which is, of course, congruent to 1 mod 9. So then we get back to the starting point, and then the sort of cycle repeats. Okay, so we look at the numbers 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, and then we write them in order, and we get 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8. Now, of course, given an odd natural number n, we can work out this list, but we want to know, can we do the opposite? So if we're given this list here, can we somehow sort of reverse engineer and then work out what n is? Okay, so if you want to have a go at this problem, pause the video now and give it a go for yourself, and I'm going to jump straight into a solution. <laughs> So the solution to this problem is yes, given the list, we can actually sort of reverse engineer and work out what L, uh, sorry, what N is. Okay, and to do that, uh, well, let me prove that. Let's call our list capital L, and it has elements alpha 1, alpha 2, all the way up to alpha L minus 1, alpha L. So we have little l elements in our list, and without loss of generality, alpha 1 is less than alpha 2, is less than alpha 3, and so on, is less than so alpha L minus 1, which is less than alpha L. Okay, so this is a sort of an ordered list. And we want to find n from this. Well, firstly, n exists, um, but we don't know what it is just yet. But what I'm going to do is we know that n is odd. So I'm going to define m to be n plus 1 over 2, which makes sense because n is odd. So n plus 1 is even, so we can divide it by 2, and m will be an integer. Now, I claim that m is in this list here. And to see why, firstly, notice that 2m is equal to n plus 1, just from this thing here. Of course, n plus 1 is congruent to 1 mod n, but 1 is also congruent to 2 to the l mod n. Okay, so, so 2 is congruent to 2 to the l mod n. Well, why is 1 congruent to 2 to the l? Well, it sort of follows from the fact that we have l elements in this list. And remember, like before, we had, I think, 6 elements uh, when we had the case n equals 9. And so when you do 2 to the 6 you sort of repeat on itself, so you go back to 1. Okay, so 2 to the L goes back to your starting point, and that starting point is always 1 because that's 2 to the naught. So 2 to the L is congruent to 2 to the naught, and of course 2 to the naught is congruent to 1 mod n. So we get 2m is congruent to 2L mod n, but then of course because n is odd, uh, and 2 is even, of course, so that means 2 and, uh, sorry, 2 is just 2, and n is odd, so obviously 2 doesn't divide n. Um, they're co-prime, 2 and n are co-prime, so I can divide both sides by 2, so I get that m is congruent to 2 to the l minus 1 mod n. Okay, so of course that means that m is a power of 2 mod n, so that means that m is in this list. Now, suppose alpha is in this list, but alpha is less than m. So suppose alpha is in l, but alpha is less than m. Okay, let's rub this off. So we've just shown that m is in l. Suppose alpha is in l and alpha is less than m, well then... That means that there exists t such that alpha is congruent to 2 to the t mod n. Okay? But then 2 alpha is congruent to 2 to the t plus 1 mod n. Okay? Because obviously just doubling both sides from there to there. But in particular, 2 alpha is a power of 2 mod n. But because alpha is less than m, it follows that 2 alpha is less than n plus 1, but in particular, less than or equal to n. But of course, n is odd and 2 alpha is even, so we have that 2 alpha is strictly less than n, um, and thus that means that 2 alpha is also in this list. Okay, so if we have any element in this list which is less than m, then 2 times that element will also be in L. So if we have an element alpha in L with alpha less than m, it follows that 2 alpha must also be in L. Okay, and then from that we can work out what m is. So if we just work along our list and find out the smallest value 
for which when you double it, it's not an element in L. That will tell us what M is, and then from that we can just work out what N is. Okay, so let me just go over that again. If we have an element smaller than M in our list, alpha, then 2 alpha will also be in our list. So if you work along from the left hand side, down our list, and find the smallest element alpha, for which when we double it, I get 2 alpha, 2 alpha is no longer in this list here, we'll get what M is. And then of course from M, remember M is just M plus 1 over 2. So once we know what M is, we can rearrange this to work out what N is, and we're done. Okay, so that solves the problem. So given the list, yes, we can work out what N is using this argument here. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, if you are new here, please do consider subscribing and checking out some of my other fun maths videos as well. That's all for today. I will catch you in the next one. Have a great day.